This was on or shortly after the 30th of September 2009. And uh, he, he, Mr. Brown, is said to have roared at you for 20 minutes. Now, is that true or not? I'm afraid that... Um, I'm very happy to tell you about the conversation that Mr. Um, Mackenzie, whom I might, might have talked to about it over dinner, I occasionally see him. Um, that was a, a very colourful exaggeration. Mr. Brown did call me and said, Rupert, um, will you, do you know what's going on here? Um, and I said, what do you mean? He said, well, the sun and what it's doing and how it came out. So, and I said, I'm not uh, aware uh, of the t I was not warned of the exact timing. Uh, I'm not aware of what they're saying. I'm a long, long way away. But I'm sorry to tell you, Gordon, uh, we have come to the conclusion that we will support a change of government when and if there's an election. Not if, but when there's an election. And he said, and I must stress, no voices were raised. We were talking more quietly than you and I are now. Um, the, he said, well, your, your company has made, declared war on my government, and we have no alternative but to make war on your company. And I said, I'm sorry about that, Gordon. Thank you for calling. End of subject. Now, how, how could Mr. Brown have declared war on your company? I don't know. He, I don't think he was in a very balanced state of mind. Um, he, um, frankly, <coughs> he could have. Um, I, I don't know. Um, set up more commissions. God knows, there's plenty of Congos and commissions uh, around us now. Um, so, um, that was it. He, 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 um, later when the, um, uh, hacker scandal broke, made a totally outrageous statement, um, which he had to know was wrong. Um. And, um, and he called us a criminal organization. And because he said that we had hacked into his personal medical records when he knew very well how the son had found out about his son, the condition of his son, which was very sad. A father from the hospital in a similar position called us, told us and said, shouldn't we get some charity or research on this and so on and Mrs. Brooks immediately <coughs> snatched it from the news list and said let me handle this and she called Mrs. Brown and said look this is going to be out we should be careful you know how would you like it handled um, and I don't know if it was one or several days later we published the story and four or five days later, Mr. Brown wrote a personal letter to Mrs. Brooks, thanking her for her sensitivity and the way she handled the story. I believe that letter is in the hands of the police.